Hi guys, welcome to BE Codewala. I welcome you to my new amazing tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to set up react plus typescript plus tailwind css for your project. So let's get started. So first of all we will create a new file like setup and I will import this file in my vs code. So here in my vs code i have imported my file okay and after importing my file i'll open the terminal so i'll just open my terminal so my terminal has been opened and i have to type a command so what command i have to type so first of all come on your browser and type with and click on the first link and get started so you will redirect it to this page so you can see that this is the with official website and we are going to use npm to create our react app with the typescript and let's copy this command that command you have seen that this npm create with at the rate latest okay and after copy this command paste in your terminal okay and press enter when you write this command it will ask you to proceed so let's press enter again so it will be proceed and name of the project suppose if you want to make a project name with uh, like react setup so with this folder name our react project will be created and if you don't want to create another folder you want to create our react project in the setup folder that we have created now right so for that you have to press just dot so when you write a dot in project name it will create your react app here in the setup folder only that folder we have imported now okay so press enter and then it will ask you the framework like vanilla view react and many more so we are going to use react so cl click react so we have to make it up and down so it will go to that option so we have to select the react option so we have selected the react option and press enter after that it will ask you the variant like typescript swc javascript and react router v7 what are the variant you want to use so we are going to just type script so press enter and it will give you all the files regarding the react and the typescript go to the package.json you will see the react and the typescript now we don't have a node modules right so for installing node modules just press npm install or npm i whatever you like so you can write this command and press enter so it will take a few seconds and it will install the node modules for our package like react react dom typescript and all so after that we have to go to the any chrome browser or any browser you like so you have to search tailwind css so search tailwind css so when you search tailwind css go to this tailwind css.com click on get started and when you click on get started it will show this page and we are going to use post css to set up our tailwind css in our react application so copy this command and go to our vs code so it is still installing node modules so let's wait for that so you can see that our node modules has been installed so you can run your project and see the output so here you can see that for the building our react we have a dev right we have written our script dev so npm run 
tab press enter and when you will run this it will give you a local host url so click on this local host url and it will redirect to your local host so you can see that our wheat plus react has been installed right and plus type script so you can see in the top now we have to set up our tailwind css so the command we have copied before first we close this server by pressing ctrl c so our server is closed now now the command that we have copied from here npm install tailwind css this post css from the using post css and copy and paste and press enter so it will install the tailwind css after that we have to copy this configuration and set it into post css config.mjs so we don't have this file so we have to create this file okay so post css dot config dot mjs and press enter and after that we have to paste our configuration after pasting the configuration we have to copy this css and go to the src file you will find index.css we have to replace all these things with the import tailwind.css and now we have to run our server npm run dev and let's see so our project is running and you can see that we have to check and apply some tailwind classes so uh, i will remove this thing remove everything just write rfce so this shortcut command coming from es7 es7 and in search es7 you will find this es7 react redux react native snippet so we have to install to use this shortcut and you can see that on the app is has been shown but we have to apply some tailwind classes right so let's apply class m bg red 500 so we have applied our class and let's see the result you can see that the background has been applied our tailwind is working fine but the issue is it is not recommending the classes right when you type text so it is not showing text bold semi bold because we have to initialize our tailwind css so in this there is no command to initialize our tailwind css so to initialize our tailwind css just search tailwind in it on your browser and I'll go to this stack overflow and you can see that a command npx tailwind css in it this command we have to copy this command npm npx tailwind css in it and copy and paste in your terminal of your vs code project and it will create a tailwind config.js and we have to set up our content right so we have to copy and paste so in the content we have to set up where you want to set up like you can see that before the square red was not there so because we have written here in the src file all the js and tss jsx configuration our telling css intelligence with work so there is an extension tailwind css ex intelligence tailwind 
so this is the telling intelligence so this will work after this uh, configuration of the Tailwind config.js because we are using Tailwind v4 right let's see Tailwind version 4 you can see that and uh, after configuring and in our index.html so so that whenever we type something it will our Tailwind intelligence will recommend the classes like box border box amber right like we can write like shadow to excel you can see that all the class has been recommending for us so this is because of Tailwind intelligence and our Tailwind CSS has been successfully set up in our react plus typescript with the width tool so this how we can set up our Tailwind CSS plus TypeScript plus React for our project. So we have to use this method. And in our future project, we'll use this method to set up our Tailwind plus React plus TypeScript. So we'll meet in the next tutorial with the new project there. We have to go and make a new project with this setup.